We're back! Killer7, run down hallways, opening doors. We just had a cutscene with like a couple of, like an old kid and like, I mean it was a kid with an old person's voice. And then there was, uh oh. Holy shit. Oh, this place looks bad. You need Dan to shoot that thing. And, uh, Boot here hadn't heard that Pikachu speaks English yet. Yep. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah, there's two more back there. Yeah, it was like this kind of, like, adorable thing. Not really, uh, like, Meowth. Mm -hmm. It was like, right when Ash pretty much sacrificed himself to the Spearows and stuff. Because, like, the, the new movie is just like a reboot of the series. Ah. Like, it's called the P I Choose You. Mm -hmm. It's like his story of how he got Pikachu, I which see. I guess kids nowadays do not realize. <laughs> it's like, oh, Ash he's just always had it. Pikachu. Yeah. What do you uh, mean the before times? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you need to get that close. The other yellow thing is on the right. Is that one? No. Um, but yeah, it's when he sacrificed himself in front of the Spiros. He mm -hmm. says, get in your Pokeball, I'll save you! Yep. And then Pikachu like, says, like, well, he's not a bad guy. <laughs> and then, like, saves him. Remember that? Yeah. I mean, I know Pokemon, man. I was there for, like, the first episodes. I was there. Like, I'm not one of these newfangled kids who doesn't freaking know how you get a Pikachu. I was trying to... <laughs> Whatever. Um... So, hmm. so anyway, um, after after that scene, they're both lying on the ground, you know. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Why didn't you get in your Pokeball?" And then that's when Pikachu says something. Huh? And it says, "Like because I wanted to be with you." <laughs> so weird. Give me that thing. I see. Uh, oh, the egg layers. I mean, that's just a big, creepy thing. Like, it's got that red thing above it. I think you were right on hitting there. But you have, like, three different kinds of charge shots here. So, yeah. You may even just need more than one. Oh, I got it. Oh, there it goes, yeah. Couldn't see squat, but I yeah, got it. Yeah, it's really annoying when uh, you get blinded and it's like, well, they're still coming at you. I mean, when it's just like a little blinder enemy, that's one thing, but like, gotta have blowing up the boss monster. Ammo. Yeah, unlimited ammo is good. Remember that time when we started an episode and you were just unloading your gun, just like, reloading it, wasting bullets? It was a good time. The other camera just, angle. Because I could just hold it. Yeah, the other camera angle was more fun, though, just because you could see him bouncing on the floor. Alright. Um... Uh, yeah, sort of like that. Anyways, it's not super important. It's fun, though. <clears throat> I want an infinitely reloading bullet gun. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you were gonna... If, if you were interested in guns, a gun with infinite ammo... Oh, did you oh. see that? <laughs> the kickback, like, multi-shot killed both of them. Worked out well. I guess they were all lined up. Mm-hmm. Not so lucky here. Nope. Like, I would have to come down the stairs considerably. When was the last time you played Animal Crossing? Um... What was the last DS game? New, Le New Leaf, maybe? Yeah, New Leaf. That was 3DS, though. Yeah. Wild World was a DS one. Yeah, I'm talking about the 3DS one, then. I did play that one. A fair amount. I caught a lot of bugs. I liked the multiplayer in that one. Uh, did they do anything different from the multiplayer? Watch out for that guy on the ceiling. I see. Um, that's the one where you could go to the island and then have little contests? Ah, right, the island. I guess they didn't remember the contest, but I do remember going to the island. Yeah, you could, uh, go do little contests with each other and, and get, like, prizes that you can exchange. For, like items yeah. in your house. I remember I remember them having like items and stuff that you spent like island currency on. Um
Okay, you harm room. That I makes it like, easy, because that'll know you. I just tell like you. caching sharks. I'll tell you exactly where you are on the map. Yeah, how you doing on blood there? You killed a lot of guys in that other room. I'm saving first. Oh, saving's good, too. I think I'm at, like, 500. Well, you may as well cash in. Who knows how much more you'll have to get while traversing this stage. Also, you already have, like, three big vials, so you might be able to upgrade Dan. Maybe. Huh. Huh. Oh, huh. this guy doesn't break. Hey, you shouldn't break yet. You haven't put in that much in this level. I don't think. Oh, there really? There it goes. Wow. Well, you only had 50 left, so... Yeah, I guess. Means I can only upgrade Dan once. <laughs> Don't make me say it. Wait here. If that. I mean, that's if you want to. There's other characters, you know. Oh, I can't upgrade power. Nope. It's maxed out. Speed, crits. Waver, crits. Waver, crits. Eh, you don't need the waiver that much. Instant oh. kill. Ooh, did I? That's what it said, instant kill. Nice. Maybe that's why you can shoot some people and they just die. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe Dan's just gonna be that ridiculously powerful now. She is, is not upgraded, like, at all. No. <laughs> no, man, you put, like, everything into Dan. I think we were looking at Khan the other day and, like, some of his stuff was still level 2 in, like, the last stage. He was cool to start. Mm-hmm. But, like, Dan's kind of a badass now. Yeah. Like, Khan is, was good for his uh, speed, but Dan's good for his power. <laughs> and also, he has the multi-shot thing, which helps. Um... That noise is crazy. What, the thing, like, twinkling towards yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. No, it I remember... It sounds like a kid's toy. Yeah. I remember the first time it happened, uh, in one of the really early stages, it was, like, super unnerving, because, like, if you couldn't see the thing, you knew that it was very, very slowly, like, crinkling towards you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, ugh. It's not what you need. Wait, on the west alley? North alley. Um... Let's see, came from Harmon's room. I mean, I would almost check uh, the West Alley stuff first, just because it seems kind of like a dead end. And then I would go north. I thought it just goes around. I mean, yeah, this goes to this. Does that... Is that another lamp, or does it take you back to before? Well, that still doesn't do anything. But it's good to know it's there. Where does this go? Hmm. Looks like he has an afro right there. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Oh, you didn't unlock Kevin yet? Oh, I guess I didn't. We, keep, we haven't needed him, so we never woke him up. You've almost certainly got him by now. Hey, look, there's uh, Iwazaru looking out a window. There's the window. Did you look at the painting yet? Yeah. It's him looking out the window. With a color hue. And there's the window that I just unlocked. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, he's got a super one. It's like a stick. Hairy chested model. Wait, other people can see him? Maybe? If he's the pro model? Uh, I don't know, paying him in physical objects that he can give to me? We really don't know what Iwazaru's story is. Alright, but you just got like a something something. Another I was actually curious, if you check the color sample thing, I want to see what it looks like now. I want to go up into the alley. I mean, you'll get to the alley. I'm just curious because we were looking at the color samples in the last episode. And... Oh, there's still a few missing. Huh. 
Maybe three more. You won't... Also, watch out, because there's a dude totally, like, right I in know. front of you. Just thought I'd mention it and wanted to make sure we're on the same page here. I mean, I don't want you to blow up or anything. That's why I'm getting Dan. <laughs> Dan will handle this. Actually, I could probably use, uh... Because I can't get blood anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, getting the blood still fills your, um... Your strong blood vials or whatever. Yeah. For, like, getting... Well, I guess... No. I don't think he even gets it for the special shots. But for healing and stuff like that, yeah. Does it? I don't think so. I think, like, the protectors he got blood and stuff from, but it was just them, and that's only because, you know, Mask was the only person who could kill him. Oh, Harmon's room again. I guess... No, it's just a... I guess it can unlock Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you can. I mean, I guess. Who needs him, right? I mean, you never know. He has those non-reloading hands. Yep. Don't make yeah, if you weren't going to max out Dan, Kevin might have been your next choice. Just so you could keep throwing knives at everybody. But how fast he can do it. Like, if you can, like, upgrade him enough so he's like a machine gun with knives. <laughs> it's like as fast as you can tap the button he throws Yeah. Them. I'm good at button mashing. Yep. I've beaten you and all you can quaff. Did you? I did. I don't think you did. I totally did. Are you sure? I'm positive. Maybe once or twice. Like every time you get mad. No. Doesn't sound right. Do I need to challenge you to all you can quaff? Oh, traces of destruction. We need the time ring. Uh. Because I, I know that I did it once and then twice, and you're like, ah, oh, we shouldn't do this anymore. It's dumb. Well, I mean, I never liked All You Can Quaff because it is dumb. Like, it's it's a silly thing that you can do once or twice, but, like, you know, it's not like you'd go to a party with some friends and they'd be like, hey, guys, we're gonna play All You Can Quaff, like, all night. I'd be like, your party sucks. <laughs> like, oh, hey, there's someone named Curtis. Is that the kid? Oh, oh it's, it's that, that guy. guy. Now he's a ghost following you. The more I play this, this feels more and more No More Heroes-ish. Illusions bred by a madman. Hmm. Most of these people don't do anything. No. Sometimes you gotta wonder, though, if suddenly one of them might actually say something useful. It is kind of interesting, though, that we're essentially collecting ghosts. The more people we kill. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's one of those egg guys. No, that was the voice of the, the rolling one. Yeah, but it's spitting out eggs over there. I know, but did they... I was looking for the rolling one first, because they're much faster. Yeah, maybe the egg hatched and it rolled. Oh, never mind. Well, there's another one around the corner, too. All right, well, uh, I'll let you shoot at these guys for a little bit while I end the episode. And we'll come back next time on Operation Pixel. There's a few more dead bodies. Here comes. Don't eat my face. 